All right, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor, and what I do here, I solve technical grant problems and also provide information that are important for you to have a better performance in your technical grant examinations. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, I welcome you, and I want to ask you as technical grant student to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students and don't forget to practice. Now, what I want to do here is to solve question 8 on this textbook. Uh, this is Engineering Drawing 1, written by Pickup and Packer. I want to solve question 8 that says that a parabola has its vertex 20 milli 12, sorry, 12 millimeters from the directories and its focus is 20 millimeters from the vertex. Draw the curve using the locus method. Okay, I'll show you a uh, locus method um uh in some work that i did and i want to solve this question now with the same locus method so what you need to do here is to draw your horizontal line start the first thing to do after you have drawn this horizontal line so then you draw a vertical line draw a vertical line like this so this vertical line is what we call the directory so i will call this point I will call it point A. So this is point A. Okay. So this is point A. And this is the directories. This directories. Then we are told that the vertex is 12 millimeters from the directories. So all you need to do now is to take a measurement of 12 millimeters. So take a measurement of 12 millimeters. So this is 12 millimeters from directory. So this is this point here now. This point is the vertex, so I will call it V, so vertex. So the next is that we are told that the focus is 20 millimeters from the vertex. So take a measurement of 20 millimeters from here. So this is 20 millimeters, okay? So this point, so it's point F, so this is point F, that is the focus so the next thing i'm going to do is to erect some vertical lines vertical lines so i will just take like um like uh five so i will divide this into two so this is 20 that is 10 then this is 10 to the focal point then this is 10 so this will be three this is four this is five um let me make it six uh this is six and um okay uh, let me take it as seven seven i think this is okay so i will erect vertical lines on each of these points then i will number them so a vertical line on each of the points so so draw a vertical line like this then here so you draw a vertical line okay so here you draw a vertical line like this so here you draw a vertical line on this point so on this point draw a vertical line okay so on this point you draw a vertical line okay so on this point you draw a vertical line so uh, how many points do we have here so i've called it this is one this is two that is that the focus so this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven now the next thing that we are going to do is that erect a short a short vertical line at the vertex here it's okay now take your compass take your compass so put the pinpoint of the compass at v here at the vertex and extend to the focus here then you draw an arc so draw uh, so draw an arc from here like this so whenever the arc touch on this short vertical line so you have to draw an inclined line from point a here through this point so let me call this point let me call it point b so let me call it point b okay so draw an inclined line passing through this point b so I, I may not draw this thing up to up to seven as i said because of the space so let me see so i will draw from here so it goes like this so i may need to extend 
this four so we can still make use of four so you are going to have a large paper so you can make it as much as you want so i can't i'll just take um from one to four so the cough will come out that's what i need the cough will come out so now wherever this inclined line touches this vertical line so we are going to call this this is point one let me call it one prime so line one so this is two prime so this is three prime and this is four prime so you may not do that so just leave it like that okay so next thing i'm going to do is that so with my compass so with my compass so with my compass um so with my compass so i will put the pinpoint of my compass at one here so extend to one prime on this inclined line take this distance like this okay take this distance taking this distance i'll bring it to the focal point so i'll make an arc here and make an arc down here on line one okay the next is so i put it at two here so extend to two prime here so this is the point so i will also take the same point is that the focus already so i just take it down here then so i'll put it at three here extend to this point here so we're asked to use the local low cost method that's what i'm doing so i will extend it to 30 prime up here then i will take it up bring it to the focal point here so i make an arc here then i'll make an arc down here so the last one is four so extend to extend to four prime here extend to four prime okay so i'll extend to four prime here then i'll put at the focus and make an arc be careful so make an arc here and make an arc down here i will still need to extend this line a little bit so i will extend this line line four so all these points are the point that you are going to get to join together to obtain the parabola the hyperbola not parabola the hyperbola so this is it so join all these points okay now so with what i've done now i'll just join this point together with the vertex here so this is it So let me join this together first. Okay. Okay. Then so I take it up. All right, so that is the curve. All right, another thing that I want to show you here is that <clears throat> if I ask to draw a tangent to this curve, to this hyperbola, so how are you going to do that? So I want to let you know how you are going to go about that. So what you need to do is that, let's say that we are asked to draw a tangent to a point, uh, a point 30 millimeters from the uh, axis this is the axis this horizontal line is the axis so what you need to do is to take a measurement of 30 millimeters down here this is 30 so i'm going to draw horizontal line so from here okay now so having done this so the next thing that you are going to do is to draw so this is the point now this is the point on the curve so we have the point here so let me call it point uh point p so let me call it point p so this is point p here so then from the vocal point you draw a line through point p so you draw a line through point p like this you draw this line so this line with 
this line has formed an angle. I mean, so the line that we just drew from the vocal point through point P and this horizontal line, they have formed an angle. So we are going to bisect this angle. So what I mean is this. So we put the beam point of the compass here. So we are going to draw an arc if we are to bisect this angle. So we draw this. So we draw this. So then I'll put the pinpoint of my compass here. So I make an arc. So make an arc here. And I make an arc here like this. Then I'll put it here. So put at this point. Here I make an arc here. I make an arc. So here. Um, so that's point eight that I took. Um, some uh, uh, okay. So it's actually passed through point P, but it's going to cross this side. It's going to cross this line. So I, I just assumed that measurement myself. But uh, in a confirmed question, in a question that has been confirmed before it is set. They will, you will surely get it. You will be able to draw the, the 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 tangent to the curve. You'll be able to draw the tangent to the curve. Maybe I should have taken something more than 30. So um, I'm not going to draw it so that this work will not look rough. So, but when you are given uh, a question that you should draw a tangent to the curve, just do it the way I did here. So the only thing that made this wrong is that this axe, this axe has entered into this part of the curve. So by the time I draw the line, it will cross this curve, which is not supposed to be. So, but in your own, if you are asked to draw a tangent to the curve, they will give you a question that has been confirmed before it is given to you. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening and God bless you.